In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Bellroy Travel Wallet. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information, link in the description below. So we've done a lot of Bellroy quick hits and quick look reviews over on this channel, and they've always performed um, in our testing very well, and they're always you know, fun products to take a look at, a lot of innovation going on. Um, so let's get into this one right here, which is personally one that I've been waiting to get my hands on for a little while now. Um, now it's very um, obviously larger than your typical wallet, um, but that's because it's specifically made for travel, so you can pop a passport in. So if we open it up, before we open it up, in fact, let's just talk about the leather, which is lovely. Um, it always ages really well um, on the, the Bellroy leather they use, and um, gives it that premium quality feel as well, which is nice. But diving back in, opening it up, we can see inside, can't miss this big passport holder here on the right-hand side. It'll fit every passport apart from German and Irish passports, um, just as a little FYI. Nicely pops in there, and obviously when you fold this back up, it's gonna be secure. Now, if you do travel with two passports, say you're a couple and you know someone holds all the passports, you can fit one in the back here as well, if needs be. Um, but obviously that there is the main place to pop your passport. We've got this little pen in the middle, which is something that Bellroy include on a lot of their products now, which is great, really useful when you're going through um, you know, airports, you need to fill in little documents, always good to have a little pen handy on you. Then we've got a card slot here, another one here for you to pop stuff in, and then also one at the back there, and one at the back there as well, as you can see. So plenty of room for cards and everything you need, and that's not it, because at the back here, there's another pocket here, another pocket there, and also one here as well. Um, so a lot going on here, how many cards you've got, or how minimal um, you know cards you carry, just because they do all lay flat and they don't take up a lot of room if you're not using them. And also, if you are using them, um, they don't take up an awful lot of room. They're not stacked on top on top of one another. So that's pretty good. Now, looking at the back here, we've got this little sleeve. So first and foremost, we've got this here where you can put a passport. You can also put all your wallet and your bills and you know any boarding passes you may have. And then beneath this flap, there's also this here. Now, you can just have that out and have this in a you know two divider all the time, or you can pop some money and fold this over, and it's almost kind of like a little hidden compartment at the back there, which is pretty cool, pretty nifty. And um, we've also got a little SIM card holder there, which is just another great little touch. Don't need to use it if you don't want to, but it's nice to have it there. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, I've yet to give this a full testing on like a flight through an airport, um, but we're really looking forward to doing so, and we will update um, you know, put all the product notes on our product page as well. So um, there you have it, our quick look review of the Bellroy Travel Wallet. For more information, head on over to packhacker.com. And if you'd like to see more in-depth reviews, then make sure to check out our main channel too.